right, so with Naomi having all the holy relics, except Goddess Liz's, that's the only holy relic I don't have in the game, and probably won't have for a while, I, uh, I, I'm taking some liberties in trying to find some wackier, more uh, different sort of teams, and um, I think this is an interesting one. I wanted to make a catastrophe build that actually has good DPS in the first turn, because one thing that I find that I don't particularly enjoy about using the Catastrophe team is that I feel as though I have such terrible DPS in the first two turns of the fight. Not necessarily terrible, just in comparison to other teams. And I think Shin is like perfect for this. Green Shin more specifically, I was thinking of bringing Red Shin. Red Shin can also work to be honest, but I was thinking of uh, bringing Green Shin. Because with Green Shin we have that rank up. And then we also have, you know, all these AoEs combined with Mono's AoE, Lilia's AoE, and then just two more AoEs from Shin. And all of a sudden, we, <laughs> we have, like, this insane AoE DPS. And so our team is always strong from turn one, deep, like, damage-wise. And will progressively get stronger as the turns go on, defensively-wise, defensively with the Ethan in the back giving us damage reduction. Now, this can work, I think, either using CC food, like I am, for going first, or dodge food for going second. I'm mainly using CC food for the sake of video, because I actually just want to go first to get it done quicker. <laughs> but it can most definitely work as a going second sort of build. Um, it's just that, you know, for, for the entertainment of seeing, you know, the... The damage on screen, I think that the uh, the going first sort of strategy works out better. And you know, the, I think Sauriel Link just helped us so well with so many of these teams because turn one, I do one attack with Mono, and then all of a sudden my Lilia passive is just maxed out, right? Because I have the debuff that Mono herself is providing, the corrosion, and I have the debuff from Sauriel's passive. I I really like kind of excited to see what's gonna be Tarmiel's relic. Uh, no, relic. Tar <laughs> I mean, Tarmiel's relic as well, but Tarmiel's um, Link. What is he gonna give? You know, that it's gonna be like comparable, because I'm like actively choosing to use Green Sauriel Link over Red Sauriel, and Red Sauriel Link is phenomenal, right? And if I'm choosing to use this Link over it, that means that this Link is also, like, amazing, right? So I really wonder what the uh, the next Tarmiel, the new name Tarmiel that we're probably getting uh, sooner rather than later, because we already seen him in the story, is gonna actually do. But moreover, I just really am curious to see how they're gonna... This team can progress, because um, as it is... This blue Lilia, right, as much as people have been using her more for these um, different builds... Oh, I just realized he has blue skinny king and red guffer. Um, as much as people have been using, you know... I just lost my train of thought just thinking of green skinny king. Uh, for like, you know, trailer Mally and stuff like that. The way this unit is built was to help catastrophes. Her passive boosts catastrophes. Like, I really wonder, like, the new version of Shin they're gonna, that we're going to be getting eventually, uh, new Monos, new version of Mono as well, uh, whatever new Camillas we're getting. And just take a look at more of uh, the stats of some of these characters. Uh, but man, we, we, can, we can get, like, some really crazy characters. Um, in the upcoming months and years, whatever, uh, with do with those things in mind, right? Um, let me go with this. Can should I go for his ult? I think I'm just gonna go for his ultimate. I'm just gonna triple attack with Shin here. Yeah, I'm just gonna triple attack with Shin. I mean, it doesn't hurt because he <laughs> he hits really hard. Oh, it's gonna kill Lily. Not Lily. Uh, it's gonna kill um, guys, Liz. No. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's okay. I, I wanted to kill Goddess Liz so that, you know, King would die there. Moreover, I think we can definitely get a new, like, back character because as much as uh, it's not bad, the, uh, whatever is going on with, <laughs> with the Red Easton, um, it's not fantastic. I wouldn't say it's great. 
right? It's not bad, but I wouldn't say it's great. Um, this card doesn't do as much. Actually, this card does more damage than the debuff card. I'm gonna go with this. Ah, oh, maybe I should have double attacked the Keo. We're, we're gonna be okay, I think. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. I just need to. Um, Mm, I just my characters look to die in one turn and we're gonna be okay. Mm, not terrible cards. Could have been better, but not terrible. Now let's see what they're doing. Lily attack, Lily attack, Melee attack? No. Are they gonna go for Shin? Because I see the Keo. Huh. Wow, going for Shin. I actually didn't expect that. <laughs> uh, that corrosion damage, though. Let's go with... Um, I'm going to do this. This. And this. Can Mono get a crit off? Let's see. Oh, yeah, she can. Wow. Wow. How much is Lilia's crit resistance? I actually don't know. I actually have no idea. I mean... Mono has very high crit chance, but more, more than usual, Mono chooses to not crit a single hit, right? But yeah, honestly, it's crazy how, like, Catastrophes are a team that are, like, have such potential because of the whole, like, you know, units boosting each other. We need, like, a Shin that specialized in boosting catastrophes, I feel like. Um, I mean, I love this Shin, obviously. But, you know, being more realistic, I think that we definitely should get a Shin that does more than just damage. And actually provides, like, the team with something. Like, just more characters that provide the team with something. Like, and again, like, Easton does provide a team of something, obviously she provides a damage reduction, but I just don't like... The way damage reduction works in this game is just very confusing to even notice it working. Like, I think a stat buffer would be much better. Like, like a, a stat buffer, like, boom, 24, even 30% basic stat boost for catastrophes only, I think is on the, like... On, on the options, honestly, because it's such a limited category of characters, right? Like, at least 20, 25, even 24. I say, I say the number 24 specifically because, you know, it's it's, it's fast Zaldruses, right? But yeah, I think this, um, this could take, you know, in a few months. Bro, can, 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 I, can I get my matches in? So yeah, I just hope that from now on, whenever they make Catastrophe characters, they actually, you know, make them buff the, the team, because for the most part, the Catastrophe characters that don't buff the actual Catastrophe team are either good for farming, I guess, you know, Green Shin is like, <laughs> god for farming, or they are just a zero. Like, I think... You know, the, the Roxies are just so outdated, like, all of them. Like, even, like, Blue, Green, Roxy, like, I try them, you know, here and there. And every time, even, you know, with, I'm talking with the Holy Relic, obviously. They're just so disappointing, you know. If Blue Roxy, instead of having that passive, instead of, like, she was, like, a booster for Catastrophes, like, 20 per 20%, 20% is very good. 20% is very good. I would gladly take 20%. If she was a 20% booster, she would be so good. Such a fantastic character, right? Just chuck her in the back, and then if she comes in, she can still, like, do decent damage because of her Holy Relic, right? Because she just had really high stats. If she was a, a, just a, a booster for the team, it would have been so good. But instead, they chose her to make the way they did. But hopefully, you know, a newer version of Roxy, like a different named Roxy, with, like, even better stats, and then give the, give her a Holy Relic for whatever, because, you know, Lilia, this Lilia, got her Holy Relic. Did she get it, like, before she came out? I think, yeah, she, she got her Holy Relic with, when, uh, when Bon got his Holy Relic, right? So, so she got it even before she came out. The other 
a Lilia, the red Lilia, got it, right? And then this one came out. Am I might mix it up, but I think I'm, I think I'm correct there. Um, you know, give the new named Roxy or whatever, new named whatever those characters are, Holy Relics, to actually help the team as well. And it, we got like a, a, a like actual sub meta, like real, like on the cusp of meta team that, you know, not many people are going to be using because it's still going to take like a, a very good amount of effort to build. But the ones that do are just going to have a lot of fun using it, so. That's it. Those are my hopes. Because these characters just look really good as well, right? The, the original character design for Grand Cross is just undefeated.